California say 46-year-old Jason Wells dialed, died while climbing the famous El Capitan this morning. We did some research and found Wells was an experienced climber in this area. He's the current record holder for the fastest climb up the Naked Edge in El Dorado Canyon. Why would someone steal from a, someone at a cemetery? Well, you're not going to believe this story. A pastor at a Denver church says he was taking part in the honor guard at a service when his car was stolen. He reached out to Contact 7 and Denver 7's Lance Hernandez so we could warn others about how fast this happened. And I was just absolutely shocked. John Moreland still can't believe it. The thought that someone would seek to do harm uh, at a cemetery, first of all, but then at a national cemetery. He was at Fort Logan yesterday. The very place where we bury our nation's fallen heroes. Heading up the honor guard at a burial service for a retired Air Force colonel, when his car, a Honda pilot like this one, disappeared. It was stolen 100 yards from this shelter. Moreland said he left the car running to keep it cool, and because he was only going to be there for a few minutes, and was then off to the next service. I liked that car a lot. You know, I waited a long time to buy it, tried to do my due diligence and, and save for it. And it was the first time I felt like I'd made a good car deal. Whoever stole it now has more than cell phone, laptop, uniforms, and a debit card belonging to Denver Christian Bible Church, where Moreland is the senior pastor. They have gassed something several times. They have been to a department store to utilize it. They have washed the car. After calling police, Moreland called his insurance company, his bank, and his wife. Unbelievable. I mean, every time I picked up the phone to try to call him, you know, no phone because it's gone. I asked if he had a message for the thief. He said the culprit should look in the mirror and think long and hard about how his actions have affected others. To you, this was just an opportunity. Uh, to us, we are being deprived of, of something that we've worked for of something that helps to uh, facilitate our life. And that's no small thing. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7. Oh, poor guy. And Denver police told the pastor they have seen an uptick in auto thefts, partially attributed to gang initiations. Police say they have received reports of thefts from cars at Fort Logan, but this was the first time they had heard of an actual car stolen. If you're dealing with a problem and need help getting answers, contact 7. You can call or text us at the number on your screen or reach out to us on Facebook or on Twitter.